This episode sponsored by our viewers. Thanks to folks like Ellie, Ivar, and Connor, we've been able to continue producing episodes. Our most dedicated sponsors are those that enjoy the show. You can show your support at everydaydrinkers.tv slash donate. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I am your host, Eric Schomer. It's time to get crazy. Yes, it is. We are making a cocktail called the Hawaiian Luau. This comes from BaconVodka.com. So, for those who've watched me do my little uh, backstage performance, my little review of Bacon Vodka last week, here it is again. Bacon Vodka. It's even got a little thing that if you scan with your phone, you can get a cool little story, apparently individually tailored towards... Your bottle. phone? <laughs> no, I think each bottle has its own story. Whether uh, Android, I don't know what that really means. Or iPhone scans it. But it's potato vodka, so that's interesting. Not that you're going to get a lot of the potato vodka essence out of it. I do not think. Butterscotch. We're going to do one and a half ounces of bacon vodka, three ounces of pineapple juice. Now you're following the luau story. You've got ham. You've got pineapples. You put the ham in the ground. No, nope, really, you put a pig in the ground, and out comes ham at the end. You don't have to talk about slaughtering a Actually, lot. Actually, right? it's just. You cook it. Pulled pork, usually. In the ground. And then you bring it out and you serve it. So I can understand how the bacon to pig thing happens. Pineapples, come on, it's Hawaii. It's Luau. Luau was good. We it went is. to Luau. Luau bacon. I mean, Luau in general. Pulled pork. Pulled pork and all the stuff at the Luau, Mai Tais, whatever. Very awesome. good time. So Big Island, Jermaine's Luau. No, it was no. Honolulu. Yeah. I think Jermaine's Luau. And the only reason I remember it is on the glass. Not the Big Island. Which strikes back to brand recognition. We need glasses for our show. Um, that is a really good time, so I suggest I don't exactly know where butterscotch plays. Do you use butterscotch in your luau's? I'm going to shake it. I'm going to strain it. I'm not going to garnish it. There are drinks that I have, breakfast cocktail somebody has sent me. Uses bacon vodka with a garnish of bacon. We'll work on that, just not right now. It's a slow. We're going to walk before we run. Bacon. Didn't smell like bacon to me. It is. The thing is, it's more of a savory thing than. <laughs> really? Wow. Five you didn't do that very well. No, I didn't. And it's so classy, too, to have corks. It's just more of a savory thing than a sweet or, or a sour. It's, it's funky. If you are a bacon lover, which there are lots of them in the world. Yes, bacon! Yes. Right, maybe you drink it on the rocks. A lot of people talk in Epic Meal Time, which is a, a video podcast. Crazy people, and they make We're bacon. Have heart attacks. With everything. Bacon burritos, where they actually build the burrito out of bacon laced. Um, they, they love drinking, so bacon vodka only makes sense. So, if anybody has the knowledge or knows of the Epic Meal Time, send them the bacon vodka link. Well, send them a link to our show, and I'll let them know. Oh, son of a bitch! What is your problem? <laughs> I don't know. One should be drunk when they're starting to dump stuff. I stuck my finger right in that thing, and it's all sticky. Your depth perception That's what is she gone. Said. Yes, that's what it is. We got a highball glass to put it in. I don't think that's what she said. It's an appropriate comment. Well, if Maybe she's... that's what he said. I don't know. There are women who, you know, Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> well, Portia, or whatever, Portia. 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 Look, if, you're, if you ask me which is the better looking lesbian, have you seen her compared to Ellen? Ellen's not bad looking. She's just not bad looking for a guy. guy. Yeah. She's pretty, though. She could be pretty. She could be pretty Her if she wasn't awesome. trying to be a man. Ah! Not now see, to be a man. See what you did? You distracted me with all that gossip. I like Ellen. Oh, no. She's funny. It's just... Google images.google.com and search for her girlfriend slash wife or whatever. Completely different. I don't really understand how we got on that topic. Oh, sticky You're finger rolls. <laughs> right, right. 
It wasn't inappropriate. It's the context that makes it inappropriate. Oh, this has a nice head. <laughs> it really does. This looks really it nice. Looks cool, but this is one of those drinks that's gonna surprise you. It's gonna come up and just grab you someplace. <laughs> smells like smoky bacon. <laughs> I don't think I can take this seriously. It's not bad. <laughs> what does the butterscotch do? That's I don't I know. know. Um, I'm, <laughs> look, I'm, I'm working on my first obstacle here. I'm drinking a drink that has the essence of peppery smoked bacon and pineapple. I'm not even getting a lot of pineapple, to be honest. It's there's the the texture is very nice. That the pineapple, it's got the nice little foam going on. The finish still is smoky bacon. Like it's like the room is opened up with bacon and somebody's cooking downstairs and they're like, I smell bacon. Like it's it doesn't leave your senses. And even drinking that straight like I did for the other video, it was a good hour or more before that essence was gone. But I was drinking it straight, so I figured maybe that's worse. I can I'm you can look to see. I feel like I can taste butterscotch. I feel like I could get that, but I feel like you could. Yes. The problem is I'm still struggling with the fact that I'm drinking something that tastes like bacon. Subtle, not disgusting, which is key. This, like, when you smell this, I have a hard time. And I had said this earlier. I have a hard time when I when I drink this straight on the rocks, like just a little ice, a little glass. When you put it up to your nose, the aroma is so potent that it's like you're about to suck on bacon grease and it's troublesome to get through. The taste wasn't nearly like that. This, much more muted, so it's it's not nearly as weird. I think this would be really funny to give out to parties and see what people do <laughs> um, as a novelty. As a drink... Plus the name is kind of... Like you wouldn't Hawaiian suspect luau. that there's bacon in a Hawaiian luau. No, but you know, at the same time, it gives you that pork taste. It's not... Like, you know, it's very Right, but neat. if someone handed it to you and said, oh, this is the Hawaiian luau, your, your initial thought isn't no. going to be, this I'm drink's going to have meat in it. Orange juice, uh, maybe yeah. some pineapple. Um, what else would be in there? Coconut. Grenadine, <laughs> rum, these kind of things. Coconut's a great example. Those type of things. Right. Not this. Overall, why I say I think I get butterscotch is because I feel like I taste it, but at the same time, I'm wondering if... It's just because I know it's there yeah. that I'm getting that taste. So other people should try this. This is a drink for bacon fans uh, because I don't know anyone else who would actually go out and buy a bacon flavored vodka <laughs> unless they plan on utilizing it someplace. And if you buy this, planning to utilize it, I think you will like this drink because you're the type of person they're making this for. And it's better than just saying, oh, use it in a Bloody Mary. That's like, you're gonna make one spirit for Bloody Mary. We already have horseradish vodka and pepper vodka. Let's expand out, make something new with it. This is new, tasty, creative, and a good use of the name Hawaiian Luau. So question of the day, I wanna know, is anybody going to go out and buy bacon vodka to expand what they drink? Or are you just gonna watch on the show and see what I do? I'd like well, to know. They would've already watched the show. Bacon vodka also probably question. wants to know that. This, by the way, again, was sent to me for review, so I'm just getting to utilize it. They gave me buttons too, so. Doesn't look like bacon. Transparent. This is a bacon button. Come on. How does that not? It's on my nipple. How does it not like look like a bacon button? Thanks for sharing. I've used like sticky hole nipple. I'm, it's a bad show. We get out of here. Everydaydrinkers.tv for the bacon. We're teaching you how to drink.